Okay, we are making what I think is going to be one of my favorites. One we haven't tried before. That was one yellow cake mix. This is one cup of water. To that we are adding three eggs. And then a third of a cup of butter. Okay, now we're just going to mix. Now we want to pour it into a 9 by 13 greased pan. Yes. We're going to bake this first and then do something else to it. Sounds good. Okay, into the oven we go. It is preheated on 350. And this is going to bake 34 to 38 minutes, but we'll check it a little before. Okay, it's been 33 minutes with our oven. And I did test it with a toothpick, which came out clean, so it is done. But we are going to let this guy cool for just a little bit, and we'll come back and do some more. Now that the cake has cooled for about 15 minutes, we're using the end of this wooden spoon, and we're going to poke holes in it. Now what is that for? We're going to be adding something to this that is delicious. And then it's going to go down in there, huh? That's the idea. Nice. Yep. Now we're making our filling. This is going to be two small French vanilla. I almost said French onion. <laughs> that would be <laughs> that nasty. That would not be good. <laughs> French vanilla instant puddings. And we're going to do four cups of milk. That's a lot. It is. But it's a big cake, so we got two... Still haven't got that four cup measure yet. <laughs> Two more. Get in on this one. That looks about right. Okay. And now we mix it up. Okay, now we want to start pouring the pudding over top of the cake. Mm. And the recipe said to do about half. So we'll do that. And just mix it around first. And start forcing it down in those holes. Okay, now we want to pour the whole thing on there. Let's see how that does. We want to leave some room for a really good topping. Mm. And I forgot to mention, we did stick the cake in the fridge for a little bit. The recipe didn't say to do that, but we did. <laughs> well, we've just to make another... sure it wasn't too warm, right? Yeah, we did another poke cake before, yeah. and it said to, so we found a happy Sure, meeting. why not? I'm going to do just a little bit. And then spoon. we're just going to put this in the fridge, right? This goes in the fridge for two hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to work on a ganache. Ooh, sounds I've good. never made that. I'm sure there's different variations. This one calls for one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips and one and a quarter cups of heavy cream. Nice. And we're going to stir this up. And then it's going in the microwave for about two minutes. We'll stir and do about another minute and a half. All right, we did do an extra minute and just stirring it up and it seems to be pretty well incorporated and smooth. And so now the directions say wait five to 10 minutes before we add it on top of our cake. All right, now we're supposed to start spreading this around. Mm, we wanna kinda good. do it quickly. Because then we got to get it back in the fridge. Yeah, exactly. It looks so good. Mm. You well, that's really chocolate. filling up that. Mm -hmm. I that have no pain, problem huh? with that. Mm -mm. It looks good. Okay, back to the fridge it goes, and the ganache should thicken and get fudgy once it cools. Sounds good. All right. It is done. You can see there's a couple pieces missing. You can see the pudding layer in there. Mm, my mouth is watering right now. This is one of my favorites is Boston cream. 
look at the pudding layer. You can see it drizzled in that poke hole a little bit. Yes. Kind of hard to tell because the cake mix is yellow also. So we know that it looks good. Mm, okay. However. Now, I can't believe I'm letting you. Well, okay, you can have this piece and then I can have the rest. You could have tasted it. <laughs> well, I have this whole cake. I could just kind of, you know. Mmm, that's good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I don't even know why I'm asking because I'm about to try it myself. Yeah, it tastes like a Boston cream donut. Ugh. It's I'm good. excited. You're going to love it. We're going to make this again. It's a keeper. Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Wonderful. All right, here it is, y'all. Easy Boston cream poke cake. Give it a try. Enjoy and have an amazingly blessed day.